What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. So right now, just in case y'all missed episode one, you know, I basically started this podcast for all aspiring entrepreneurs and, you know, those entrepreneurs that really don't have the mentors or don't really have that person to really sit down with them and be that big brother that's going to sit and tell them the game, tell them what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. Um, And really just give you, you know, those tools that you need to be successful in life. You know, that mindset, the things that you need to be thinking about and doing uh, routines and things like that. That's going to really take you to the next level and no sugar coat and no bullshit and giving you straight facts, straight to it, straight to the point. And um, and yeah, just just giving it to you how it need to be gave to you, if that's even how you say it. But yeah. So one thing about me, if you know me, I never really was into school. I never went to college. Um, Even me talking, you know, certain words, I mess up. You know, my mama got brought up in the ghetto, in the hood. I got got raised in the projects. Uh, And, you know, my mom dropped out of school really, really early. I think like sixth grade. So she has like a sixth grade education and got pregnant at like 17 uh, years old. And, you know, had my big brother and then had me. Mama got four kids uh, and, you know, I I don't really have the best education when it comes to college degrees and things like that. I'm just a straight hustler. I know how to hustle. I know how to make money. I know what the people want. I started from school in sixth grade, you know, selling candy, realizing a problem in the schoolhouse. You know, people always wanted candy. They were starving. They was hungry. So I came up with some candy bars. You know, I came candy bars in school, and I sold m and Snicker bars, uh, Snickers, Twix, uh, anything that they was asking for. I came with a bag of $40 bags of candy to school, and I sold out within two periods. I don't know about your school and and what a school at, uh, how your school is and how many periods you have in your school. But in Miami, we got seven periods in middle school. And by the second period, I was sold out. So I used to get bugged the third period, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way to seventh period. I used to get the shit bugged out of me. Speck, you say you had candy. You ain't got no candy. Speck, where the candy? I thought you were going to have candy today. I said, I'm sold out. So what I thought was, I said, listen. I'm getting the shit bugged out of me. So the only way for me not to get bugged is for me to have more candy. And the only way for me to have more candy is to get other people to help me. So I went around to pretty much all my friends and all my friends' friends and asked who want to make some money. So back then, if you 11, 12 years old, you know, $20 is a lot of money for you. They eat lunch, you get a pizza, you get some chicken wings, you get a juice, you buy your girlfriend something. And that was a lot of money. So... I came up with $20. I say, listen, I pay $20. You sell candy for me for five days. If you sell out of candy for three days out of those five days, I give you an extra $5. So you'll be making $25. So I made everybody meet me on the side of the building, the school, um, before school. And I gave everybody $20, $25 of candy. And I had 10 people working for me. So it was to the point where I was killing it. I was selling my $40 bags of candy. Everybody was maxing out to the point where I was making $1,500 to sometimes $2,000 a week to me buying the car at fourteen. dollars So by me saying all this is that I understand entrepreneurship all the way from 11 uh, to 12 years old where I know nothing about payroll. I know nothing about incentives. I know nothing about you know, none of this type of stuff, but just it's instilled into me for me to just really just know these type of things. And it's one of my gifts. So I want to give some of my gifts to you uh, as a listener and really just get you to get to the top as fast as possible. And just on that journey on the way to the top, I want to be that person that help you, you know, get over things that you're thinking, or you might be thinking certain things and need that extra somebody to tell you a certain thing to really take you over the top. Because honestly, God gave everybody a gift, right? It's things that I can't do that somebody else can do exponentially well, and they don't take advantage of it. And I want to let everybody know that you can take advantage of that gift that God gave you because God gave every last person a gift. 
And it's up to you to realize what that gift is and take advantage of it. See, it's two things that you need to do to be successful, right? And you want to start a business. You got to figure out what you want to do, right? What are you good at that the next person is not good at and it comes easy to you but harder for the next man, right? And two, what's your passion? And it has to be those two together. It can't be one and the other. It can't just be 100% passion and no skills. Or it can't be 100% skills and no passion. That's where you're going to drop off at. So when you get those two together, something special happens. And that's what you got to find out. You got to figure out what is that passion and what is that skill set and combine them together and just go full throttle at it. And don't let nothing hold you back. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to your teachers. Don't listen to whoever that's speaking down on you. And I'm saying don't listen to your teachers not to listen to them. I'm saying if they tell you that you ain't going to be shit. I remember a lot of teachers told me that, you know, I wasn't going to be shit. <laughs> I used to get kicked out of class all the time. I was a class clown. I thought everything was funny, right? Because it was. It was funny. <laughs> I was funny. I was a hilarious guy, right? So, but I was always a favorite. So sometimes my teachers say, hey, Smith, don't sell candy in class during class. I give you at the end of the class, you know, to crack all the jokes you want and sell all the candy you want. So I understood, you know, what made me me and what were some of my gifts. And one of my gifts was I was a people's person. I know how to make people laugh. I know how to make people feel good. And I turned that into a business, uh, into music, you know, me selling 11 million records with my brother's. Uh, touring the world, Japan, uh, the UK, um, pretty much everywhere. New Zealand, we pretty much toured the whole world. And one of the things is is connecting with your fans and, and, and making sure your fans are loving you and figuring out how to brand yourself and how to market yourself. You know, I pretty much figured all that stuff out. So I just want to give the gift that I'm good at and give it to you guys because I know it's a lot more people that's just like me uh, that know that they have a gift but don't know how to utilize it and really take advantage of it. But I definitely want to say that one of the things that you can do to take advantage of it is learning as much as possible, figuring out what you want to do, skill set, passion, and do as much research as possible on it. Go study who's the best in that field, who's the number one person Who's the number two, number three, number four, number five, all the way to number 10? Who's the top 10 people? What are they doing? What is their work habits? What are they breadcrumbs? Because no matter who's successful in the world, everybody left breadcrumbs. Everybody want to know, how the hell is Kim K so rich right now? How she's so wealthy or how she's so, um, you know, popular right now? She left breadcrumbs. She left a whole trail on how she did what she did. And if you want to be the next Kim K, all you got to do is reverse engineer what she did to become Kim K. Because it's all in the press, it's all in the blogs, all the publicity stunts. Everything that they that she done is all in the press. It's all breadcrumbs to the fact that her formula is so strong. And I really feel like the mama is behind it because all the sisters became so famous and neither one of them have a type of skill that someone would hire you for. <laughs> so that should tell you right there. It's all about passion and skill set. And what I feel like their passion is, is marketing. They're great marketers. They're great marketers and their passion is one them wanting to be famous. Like they, they have passion behind it. They just know how to manipulate the market to make them react a certain way. And they take advantage of that and turn that into dollars. I remember one time I was in my office and one of my employees was like, oh, my God, you see what you see what uh, Kylie Jenner said uh, uh, on a post. And she posted a Tupac T-shirt and and how dare she disrespect. And I was like, that's a publicity stunt. She was like, no, everybody's talking about it. Why would she do that? And I was like, look at the T-shirt. First of all, this is a multi-million dollar brand, right? She's a multi-million dollar brand. She's not going to put a Tupac picture over her, uh, on, on top of her body and just put it like a, a, a janky 
t-shirt together and you have a multi-million dollar you know products that you have out you're just not going to do that but you're going to do it to get a reaction out of people and and it worked if my whole office was talking about it then i know the whole world was talking about it because as soon as i walked in the office the ceo the founding ceo got a phone stuck right in his face on what kylie jenner had going on right at that time and i said what did she post after that because I'm guaranteeing she's drawing that traffic to her page to promote something. And she was like, no, no, no. And then one of my other employees, uh, Martha, she was like, oh, she posted about her cosmetic line. I see, told you. And my other employee, Melanie, she looked at me. She was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. I told you, these these girls are brilliant. They're smart. They understand how to manipulate the mind. And they're, they're genius at it. So if you want to be the next Kim K, <laughs> Kylie Jenner, it's breadcrumbs. All you got to do is do your homework. Anything you want to do in the world, all is on the Internet. Figure it out. Find out who's the best at it. Do your research. If you want to do real estate, go find out what's the top 10 real estate books. Go figure out who's the top... What's the top five real estate companies? Find out who's the top 10 real estate influencers and figure out every single thing they're doing. Are they posting about more about quotes, inspirational? Are they posting about their projects? Are they doing vlogs? What are they doing to become that famous and that successful in that field? Go back, pick up the breadcrumbs and Make it your own and put your own twist on it. But if it worked for them, it'll work for you. In my office, my ad was our office. I always tell them they know my number one rule. If it worked for them, it'll work for us. So if y'all enjoying this podcast, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. I want y'all to spread the word. If y'all like what I'm saying and y'all feel like somebody else needs to hear it, then I would love and appreciate if you rate it and you actually share it to a friend uh, and tell them to subscribe to the podcast. And, you know, let's get it growing. This is the second podcast. Looking forward to the third one.